Okay then, so let's take a quick look at how we create a coupon code for OpenCart. In this example, the client wants to use a coupon code to try and encourage viewers to sign up for a free account, entering their details, email, etc. And in return, via email, they will receive a coupon code, which is usually a number or a word. So when that client checks out, they can pop in the coupon code and receive a 10% discount. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's jump into our dashboard. And if we scroll across to sales, we will see just down here the option for coupons. So let's go ahead and give that a click. Okay, great. And we can see already where there's been a few example coupon codes entered for us i.e. a 10% discount or a $10 discount or free shipping discount. We're going to go ahead now and create a new coupon code from scratch. So let's go to insert and give that a click. Coupon name. So let's just call this, um, I don't know, 10% example. And the code, which is your, your password as it were, which I'm going to put as Curves Play, which is the name of the company, of course. The type of percentage we're going to go for here, sorry, is a percentage as opposed to a fixed amount. The actual discount, we're going to go for 10%. And here, of course, we can also set a total amount. So, for example, if the client were to spend over $75, they then receive a discount. But in this example, I'm just going to go with a 10% discount on everything. So I'm going to put in zero there. So no matter what the client spends, they will receive 10% discount. And the next option we have is customer login. Now, this one's quite interesting. It does encourage viewers to give you their details before they can use the coupon, which is always a good thing. So in future, if you'd like to use an email for newsletters or special discounts or offers, it's always good to collect customer data. So we're going to say yes, the customer has to be logged in in order to use our coupon. Uh, free shipping, uh, yes, you could do as well if you wanted, but I'm going to say no for now, just for this example. Now the coupon. You can specify that the coupon is only used for a certain product. But in this case, we're going to say all products are available for this coupon. So I'm going to quickly scroll through my clients' various categories here. And we can see in this little box here now it's listed everything in my client shop. Now, for example, if you want to be quick and say, no, just this one particular uh, pair of capri pants or a sports bra, we can simply type in the code of that particular item here. And just below our product list, we have the start date. And we'll say today being the 23rd of August, great, starting today. And the offer we'll say is available to how about we go to, I don't know, my birthday, September the 28th. There we go. So here we are now with the uses per coupon. So let's say, for example, we're going to keep this coupon available for just, I don't know, 100 uses. And an individual customer, you could say, could use it 10 times or five times. But for example, let's just say this customer can only use it the once and then it becomes invalid. OK, great. So you've popped in all of our details. We have our coupon name, 10% example. Let's go ahead and click Save. And there we go. We can see we have our 10% example coupon. The code for the coupon is Curves Play. 
and that's the password the user will enter to get the discount whilst checking out. We have the discount amount being 10%, the start date, the end date of the special offer, the coupon is now active, which we call enabled, and that's all. So there you go, that's how we create and install a coupon. I hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to ask, and good luck.